Merry Christmas, Renegade Nation! Before we begin the video, I'd like to give a big shout out to our most recent Patreon supporters Itogi Keril, Blazer64, Andrew Larman, Mohamed, Karina Wang, Dark Prime25, Christian Andre Cavande, Benjamin Salisbury, Jonathan Caleros, Andrew Elliott, Kimber, Fabiola Macias, The Gaming Warthog, Daniel Anderson, Bick Boy, Julius Urado Jr., Christopher Lee Scott, Soren Nielsen, Neil Bender, Austin Price, The Whiskey Laddie, Brian Emika Njoku, Deshaun Hurd, Andreas Van Hasht. Thank you very much for your support. And if you want to check us out on Patreon, we would very much like to see you over there. Everybody have a Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. Take care, guys. Okay, so we did the first part, although we did not have Micah with us for that. I gave Micah the basic gist of what... I mean, I've seen stuff like this, kind of like this before. Yeah, well, you've seen Mark Rober before. Like you said, you yeah. watched his bicycle video with the shock stuff on it and everything. Um, so this is... A lot of people consider this his piece de resistance, like his his masterwork of pranks, of like, not well, not pranks, but sort of like anti-theft stuff and everything. And, um, yeah... I 100% agree with this because, you know, the first episode, I was just like, you know, I've had, I haven't had stuff stolen from me yet, but my mom has. And if there was something we could do to sort of not just stave them off, but also sort of give them a le teach them a lesson in not to steal shit from people, I mean, I think that'd be a well, that'd be well worth it. But, uh, the glitter bomb trap. It's, uh, yeah, it, it's hands down one of the most inventive and one of the most, uh, one of the most hilarious, uh, gotcha, uh, gotcha pranks out there. And, um, we got the second part queued up here. We're gonna tr get, the, get, just dive right into this. Uh, here we go. Let's see what happens now. Wow. This guy stole my package, and he's about to open it in his house. Hello. But what he doesn't know is that this is a new and improved custom-built bait package that is recording him on four different cameras that just released a pound of the world's finest glitter along with some other nasty surprises. What the f***? But to understand how we got to this point, we need to go back one and a half years. Because that's when someone stole a package from my porch, and the police wouldn't do anything about it, even with the video footage, which made me sad. And so drawing inspiration from one of my childhood heroes, I decided to make a bait package to lure would-be thieves, and the internet seemed to like it. But despite my best efforts, 1.7 million packages are either stolen or go missing every day. Hello? Macaulay Culkin? <laughs> Holy shit! <laughs> Dude, he, he was on Modern Road a little while back. I'm I sorry. laughed it's my butt off. It was so funny. Yeah. For the glitter ball. No, no, that's cool. I, I love that. Just that I do other things with my life, like run my website, funnyears.com. But seriously, though, your design was good, but actually, I think I can make it a little bit better. And so with Macaulay's help, my friend Sean and I literally spent the last 10 months designing, building, and testing. Oh, I love that. He's doing the, the theme song from the, from the so whole movie, movie like remix. And then show you what happens when you unleash 10 of these bait packages on random suburban porches all across America. We started with a complete redesign of the box to make it more streamlined and secure. For contrast, last year's design was a bit of a rat's nest. The fundamentals are still the same, or you have a battery-powered custom printed circuit board on the bottom that has a built-in accelerometer so it can sense when it's been jostled and then it tells these four phones to start recording. And these are wide-angle lenses, so as you can see, you'll be able to record the thief no matter which side they open it from. And then right here we have some fart spray, but we added a second bottle this year. So as both these motors spin cams around, not only does it spray twice as much, but we changed the formula this time around, and it is wretched. Oh, there's Dude. Destin. Oh, uh, there's man. Destin from Smarter oh, Every Day. It's in my mouth, man. Oh. <laughs> I feel like it just ate a turd. Never done that to be clear. And just to prove how much worse it was, I sprayed last year's formula labeled A, and then this year's formula labeled B for 10 different people without telling them which was which. Oh, that's like proper poo. <laughs> oh, God. He just took a dump on my face. Uh, ew. <laughs> Waft it in, Macaulay. Thank you, Macaulay. 
<laughs> I bet. Okay. Oh god. I actually have a pretty funny like thing here uh, for my colleague. He just took a dump on my face. Ah, smells like Home Alone three. <laughs> Keep the change, you filthy animal. It's turning to red. To ensure they get rid of the package out of their house before they realize there's four phones inside. This increases our chances of recovering it since we already know the package location at all times due to the GPS tracking on all the phones. But even if we somehow don't recover it, all these phones have LTE data plans, so they'll upload their footage to the cloud right away so then we can see what happened. And then we have the main course, which is the spinning cup powered by a motor underneath here, which we fill with the finest glitter we could find, which is actually biodegradable this year as a nod to our good friend, Mother Earth. We also added hey, sound effects this year, cool. so after both the glitter and the farts spray have successfully deployed, we start counting down. Five, four, three. Nothing actually happens at the end, but they won't know that. And then finally after that, we added some fake police scanner chatter, just because it seemed like the right thing to do. <laughs> So as you can see, once you slip this cover over, it becomes nearly impossible to access the phones now without special tools. And so finally we've got the lid, which has these two holes here, which we cover with one-way film, so we can record the outside world even when the lid is on. And you'll notice that this is a total custom print. These are the fictitious Buzz 700s, named of course after Kevin's older brother. <laughs> just two seconds to nice. actually inspect the package, they would see that all the words on the side are just slightly modified quotes. What from you did, Obama, you little in jerk? Listen to this amazing testimony. Buzz is girl. Buzz, your girlfriend. Good to go. Woof. So the idea is the bad guy comes sneaking by and then steals it off the porch. And then when they eventually remove the lid, a magnet taped inside triggers this Hall effect sensor, which tells the circuit board brain it's go time, and everything is set in motion. Oh! As far as I'm concerned, relatively harmless, karmic justice has never looked so beautiful. That's pretty awesome. Ah, oh, look at that. That's gorgeous. Glitter bomb, baby. <laughs> That's wicked. Damn. And so now all that was left oh was to God, find like in George the boxes. So I sent out a call to all my followers on social media, and we received over 400 applicants who have all dealt with repeated package thefts in the past. And then from that, we narrowed the list down to just a handful, and soon we had packages out all over the country. Uh -huh. We also set up a website so I could sit in my back cave here and monitor all the boxes to see their current locations, record states, battery phone levels, and even check the camera feed on any box at any time. And things started out a bit rocky when we got a notification that the first box was stolen, and then we noticed it was intermittently moving all throughout the city. So while we were trying to locate it, we checked the feed and realized a UPS driver was so convinced the package was real, he scanned it and picked it up and it was riding around in his truck. <laughs> Next, when someone else picked up the box, we didn't have the lid seal fully worked out yet. So as they were walking around, glitter started to spill out. Oh, look at that. There's glitter coming out of it. Oh, it's totally scanned. Yo, Nick! Which is, as they say, Thank you very much. Give away. It's totally a scam. When you open it, it's gonna explode with glitter. Hello. This lady took it off a porch, but opened it upside down. As soon as she heard the countdown timer, though, she rushed it back to the porch she stole it from, just in time for nothing to happen. But then the thefts began to pile up, and we started hitting our stride. <laughs> oh crap! <laughs> Hello. 
and recovered it by the dumpster. We walked by the store and they were sweeping and spraying Febreze, which felt amazing. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. Alright, we f alright, alright, we fing get it, okay. Smells like fing shit in here. That's what you get for stealing and it, middle asshole. Of all this, something yeah. happened that I still can't wrap my head around. One of the volunteers we sent a package to, who obviously knows my channel and follows me on social media, who I even interviewed to make sure he seemed legit, decided it would be a good idea to steal my package from me and never had any intention of either putting it out on his porch or sending it back to us. After a week of us being really nice and trying to work with him, he effectively admitted as such and then blocked and ghosted me. And it's just like, bro, if you're gonna steal from someone, don't pick the dude who just spent a year and a half of his life avenging the theft of a $5 Amazon package. If I'm willing to get that petty over something I could easily reorder, what do you think I'm gonna do to the guy who steals the outcome of that year and a half of work? I quit my job at NASA to make YouTube videos and I only make 12 of them a year. So I have plenty of time and I love to obsess over these little details. Plus, even though this is more of a science channel than a prank channel, I love coming up with these ideas. Like when I took this Freddy Krueger action figure and taped it to the back of my wife's car right in front of the backup camera. <laughs> That would be terrifying. <laughs> After a little detective work, I discovered he gave us his real name and phone number, but he shipped it to his buddy's address. So I found his real address and then did two relatively harmless things. The first is I've heard once the Scientologists have your contact info and know you're even remotely interested, they will follow you the rest of your life. And so since I had all his contact info, hypothetically, I might have gone on their website and said I was very interested in learning more and then ordered $300 worth of their starting course material so they know he's a very 
high value contact worth keeping track of. And so he does, I designed over 10 custom postcards just for him. For example, he's from Texas, so I thought a thank you note for his $500 donation to Texans for Hillary Clinton's presidential campaign would be nice. Or this registration confirmation for the upcoming furry convention. But the trick is, while I addressed it in his name, I went on Google Maps and looked up his neighbor's addresses, and hypothetically, I might have accidentally sent them to a Oops. random assortment of houses around him. A lot of these are great because it's the exact type of thing where the more you deny it, the more guilty you look. So some of these will inevitably be hand delivered to his mailbox by his neighbors who spot the air, and he'll always be second guessing just how many more there were and who's silently judging him at the neighborhood potluck. Now I want to mention we encountered good people out in the world too, who were trying to actually keep our boxes from being stolen. For example, this woman did that, but even still the package was stolen just 30 minutes later by a professional porch pirate who knew exactly how to cover up her face. But then we said, oh, hold up, roll that tape back. Unbelievably, she has the same body type and owns the exact same shoes and pants as that good Samaritan. So we turned the footage over to the police to see if they too could appreciate the coincidence. And it just goes to show you that your conception of who a porch pirate is might be totally off. <gasps> I'm just well, kidding. Granny. This was a super nice lady who took the package in for her neighbor. Oh. But it got us thinking, and instead of just always punishing the bad guys, we wanted to try and reward the good guys. So in some cases, we left it by an apartment mailbox, and we changed the label to a real name and left tons of contact information, like phone number and email, all over the label. And quite a few people took the package back to their house, but instead of opening it, they called to tell us they had our package because they were worried someone else would take it. And so instead of glitter and fart spray, I gave them $400 because that was the opportunity cost hey. for them when they made the right choice. Nice. Thank you, Thank you for being one of the good ones, man. Others, however, didn't make the call. Surprise, mother Gotcha. Ooh. <laughs> oh, it got all over his PlayStation controller, his plate, his... <laughs> 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 His friend is just dying. <laughs> I didn't hear it counting down. <laughs> Here's that, though. like some crazy like batman levels of like dedication it's like yeah the cost right. doesn't matter only justice pretty much yes indeed um yeah i mean like, only, like dispensing this. some karma to people that it wouldn't normally yes. necessarily come to big time well they deserve it if, if they're trying to steal something dude i mean because oh i, I wasn't so. criticizing i was like no, that's pretty cool no 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 i i love the idea i wish i could do that I wish I, I wish I could be able to do something like that, but I mean, I mean, that dude quit NASA to do this, so it's like, well, I, I feel like he's a lot smarter than we are. <laughs> well, no shit. I mean, he he put the he's one of the people who's responsible for the Mars rover. He's one of the people who put the Mars rover on Mars. That's impressive. Oh yeah, so the dude is ultra talented and is like ridiculously smart. If I could learn anything from him, I'd just be like, "Hey man, can you just can you just teach me like how to like like how to solder properly? Because I suck at that. Because yeah, I saw him like doing the solder gun and everything, and I'm just like, 
See, it's just that easy for some people. Mm, I, I can solder. I can well, no, try to it, teach you how if you want. Well, it's just got to buy the equipment. Well, it's just the equipment I had was pretty shitty. It was one of those, like, battery-operated ones. That, yeah, you need a real one. Yeah, yeah. An actual, like, plug-in one. Yeah, I don't even see a battery-operated one getting hot enough to be able to remotely do it correctly. Well, yeah. So I thought, too. And then I, I, I decided to give it a shot anyway because... My mom gave it to me, and I'm like, ah, what the hell? And then I tried to solder, and all of a sudden, uh, it keeps sticking to the little end point. And I'm like, yeah, yeah it's, it's not supposed not to happen. Enough. It's not hot enough, then. Yeah, it's not supposed to happen. Nope. Uh, but Yeah, if you ever get a real one, I can teach you how to do it properly. Okay, so. that'd be cool. I mean, I, I did it for a job for three months. So. Well, yeah, you, uh, you did the night vision goggle thing. Yeah. So, yeah, I... <laughs> Uh, I'm glad that yeah, you know, I'm glad that y'all liked that. I'm and I'm glad you stayed awake through it, Nick, because uh, you know it's awesome when uh, it's awesome when yeah you know, he pulls this stuff off and it's as successful as that. Because if you fell asleep, we would have thrown glitter on you and sprayed fart spray. Oh well, shit! <laughs> I'm glad I stayed awake too. <laughs> yeah, I didn't get to sleep a whole lot or well last night at all. So nah, I'm no, I would, tired. I would never do that. Somebody poured confetti in my hair one time in a football game in high school and took forever to get out. Oh, that would be really annoying. Uh, the, let's see. Only thing I can really remember is that I remember one time I was, like, at a party, and I was just like, ah! And then someone sprayed, like, the silly string right oh. in my mouth, like, a oh. whole lot of it. And I, it was just like, I was like, ah! <laughs> <laughs> oof, oof. That sounds horrible. I had that taste in my mouth the rest of the night. I'm just like, ugh! Yeah. Uh. Like you're an ass. Yeah. He, and as soon as he did it, he was dying laughing like he was over in the floor just rolling and i'm just like and i'm just like ugh, ugh. yeah that taste you can't get it out of your mouth for like a day and it's just ugh. don't want to do that again ugh. all right well i'm glad y'all liked it and i hope that you all liked it too and if you want to check out mark rover i mean uh feel free to check out the link in the description down below you can see his channel and uh all the awesome science stuff that he does i mean what what can I say about the guy other than holy shit this guy is awesome, and uh, yeah if you want to see more from us you know what to do I mean there's a like button right there I mean if you hit that it would I uh, would greatly appreciate it. and if you want to hit that subscribe button and ring that bell uh, stay notified whenever we uh, <clears throat> whenever we are uh, uh, going live or whenever we post a video we greatly appreciate that and uh, yeah I guess until next time everybody signing off I'm Nate Micah I'm Nick and we will see you all in the next one everybody peace out. Thank you.